Hi children, this video comprises a very very important topic, a frequently asked board question. So I have taken this exclusively in this video. Video 8 deals with lac operon and gene regulation. This lac operon was elucidated for the first time by Francis Jacob and Jakes Monon. Two very important scientists, Francis Jacob and Jake Monon were the first to elucidate regulation at the transcriptional level in prokaryotes. Before going into the details, we can learn from simple to complex. First of all, we are going to learn what is a polycystron and by now you know what is a polycystron. We have learned that between the promoter and the terminator, if the DNA comprises one structural gene, the structural gene I have indicated in pink color, if it comprises one structural gene, it is called monocystronic. And remember, this is the promoter and this is the terminator. If it has only one structural gene between the promoter and terminator, it's called monocystronic. And this is found only in eukaryotes. In prokaryotes, on the other hand, it is not monocystronic. It is having more than one structural genes. There are more than one structural genes between the promoter and the terminator. And hence, it is known as polycystronic. So this is a polycystronic structural gene. There is many structural genes between the promoter and terminator. Now the next concept I am going to introduce is operon. What is an operon? When all these cystrons, this is one cystron, let it be A, this is cystron B and let this be cystron C. When all these cystrons are controlled by a common promoter, also, a new gene we are going to learn today, a common regulator, then it is known as an operon. So, the next new concept is operon. What is an operon? Operon is when a polycystronic structural gene, that is, when many structural genes are controlled or regulated by a common promoter and common regulator, it is known as an operon. You are familiar with the promoter. Promoter has the site for binding with the RNA polymerase. The RNA polymerase which brings about transcription binds to which gene? It binds to the promoter. It binds to the promoter. When it binds to the promoter, when you recollect what happens, uncoiling takes place and transcription proceeds. And transcription proceeds as transcription proceeds, what happens is RNA polymerase moves and reaches the terminator. Terminator, what happens? Transcription stops. So, you understood the significance of the promoter. So, promoter has the site for binding with the RNA polymerase, the enzyme involved in transcription. Now, let us learn what is this new gene, what I have introduced, the regulator gene. So, before that, I am going to draw the complete operon. And this such a concept, operon is only found in prokaryotes or in bacteria. There are different operons, namely lac operon, trip operon, his operon, val operon, etc. Today we are going to analyze a lac operon. A lac operon comprises of three structural genes. So his operon has five structural genes. Val operon has another number of, operon, uh, of structural genes. Another name for structural genes, cystrons. So it's anyway more than one. Then only it is called polycystronic. In the lac operon, I am drawing the lac operon. How many structural genes should I draw? Three structural genes. So I am drawing the three structural genes. One, two, three. 
to 3. There are 3 structural genes and these 3 structural genes are indicated as Z, Y and A. Don't get confused. You start writing from here. It's always to be remember max X, Y, Z. Just remember A, Y, Z. These are the 3 structural genes of lacoperon. And each gene, we know, by now we know what the role of a gene. It is expressed. What is the meaning of gene expression? E gene undergoes transcription. I am doing it simultaneously. Gene Z, gene Y and gene A undergoes transcription. And how it is represented by wavy lines. Wavy lines indicate the mRNA. After transcription, translation. And what is output? It is a protein. So, just there are some proteins produced as a result of the gene expression of Z, Y and A. The protein that is produced by Z is an enzyme called beta-galactosidase. The protein produced by Y is permease. And the proteins or the enzyme produced by A is transacetylase. We know all enzymes are proteins. So I am referring to these as proteins and these ASE endings. So they are definitely working as enzymes. So the Z produce which enzymes? Beta galactosidase. Y produce permease and A produce transacetylase. Now let us learn the function of each Enzyme beta galactosidase helps in the hydrolysis of lactose into glucose and galactose. So, beta galactosidase produced by which gene ZZ gene? is involved in the hydrolysis of lactose into glucose and galactose. Function of permease, from the very name you can understand its function. It permits or increase the permeability of the cell membrane to certain chemicals like beta galactosidase as well as lactose. So here permease, what is the function of permease? Increase the permeability of the cell membrane to these two substances, beta galactosidase and lactose. And transacetylase, from the very term you can understand which reaction it catalyzes. It catalyzes transacetylation reaction which is not relevant here. Okay, so once again I have described each structural gene with their function. Once again, the three structural genes of lacoperon is Z, Y, A. The Z, Y and A undergoes transcription and translation and finally what we get the products. What are the products of gene expression? Proteins and these proteins are some enzymes. Z produces beta galactosidase, Y produces permease and A produces transacetylase. And I told you the function of each Beta galactosidase is involved in the hydrolysis of lactose into galactose and glucose. Permease increases the permeability of the cell membrane to beta galactosidase as well as lactose. And transacetylase is involved in the transacetylation reaction. Now we are going to proceed. I am going to build the structure of the lacoperon. It is still incomplete. Only the cistrons are drawn. Now I am going to draw the next gene. Three more genes. The next gene is something new. It is called the operator gene and represented by O. Only after O we have the promoter gene. We are very well familiar with the promoter gene. What is the role of the promoter gene? The RNA polymerase, if I shade this, RNA polymerase binds to the promoter 
and when RNA polymerase binds to the promoter, what happens? What happens? Transcription of Z, Y, and A takes place. And here we have the terminator. Okay, I'm putting RNA polymerase on top. Again, following the promoter, we have another gene, the regulator gene. So, three genes associated with the structural genes are regulator gene, promoter gene, and operator gene. Now, we are going to learn the role of each gene. Already you know the role of promoter. It has binding site for the RNA polymerase to bind. If RNA polymerase binds, transcription takes place. But if RNA polymerase does not bind to the promoter, no transcription takes place. Clear. Now, regulator gene. This regulator gene also is expressed. Now, when we know about gene, remember that symbolic representation, transcription and then translation. So, this regulator gene is expressed. That is, first it undergoes transcription, then it undergoes translation and we get a product. The product is represented like this. It is called a repressor. The name of this oval structure or this protein is repressor. So, regulator gene expresses to form a protein called repressor. The meaning of gene express means it undergoes transcription and then followed by translation. And this repressor has a tendency immediately to go and bind to the operator. And when the repressor binds to the operator, it prevents, it prevents this RNA polymerase from binding with the promoter. This is prevented. When it is prevented? When the operator is bound to the repressor, this is prevented. What RNA polymerase will not bind to the promoter. When it is not bound to the promoter, will transcription take place of the cistrons? No. Z will not get transcribed, Y will not get transcribed and A will not get transcribed. Why did not get transcribed? Because RNA polymerase did not bind to the promoter. And why didn't RNA polymerase not bind to the promoter? Because the repressor that is produced from the regulator has bound to the operator. Now you can justify why the word repressor is used to, for that protein. They could have given it another name for this protein. The protein that was produced by the regulator, they give the app name repressor. It has repressed the RNA polymerase from binding to the promoter and therefore what is repressed or suppressed? Transcription of the structural genes are suppressed or stopped. Clear? Now, this regulator gene, now I talked about the regulator gene. In this case, it produces a repressor protein. The regulator gene can also produce another protein. It need not be always repressor. Opposite of repressor, it can also be an activator protein. Activator protein is opposite of repressor. So, if it is in this case, it is a positive regulation. That is, this activator binds to the operator and it activates the RNA polymerase to come and bind to the promoter and transcription takes place. That we are not having the syllabus. We are having only negative regulation. And negative regulation is brought about by the repressor protein produced by the regulator. So, as of now, I am not going ahead with activator. Anyway, regulation can either be positive or negative. In lack of peron, the regulation is negative. So, which protein is produced by the regulator? Is it the activator or the repressor? It is the repressor that is produced by the regulator, not activator. And the role of this repressor is that it binds to the operator. Once it binds to the operator, the promoter is not going to bind with the RNA polymerase. And what happens? The transcription of the structural genes does not take place. Clear? Now, so we understood the role of the regulator. As I told you, regulators can cause positive impact or negative impact uh, depending on which protein is produced. And as I told you, regulators can produce either a positive protein or negative protein. If you produce a negative protein, it is called repressor. And if it produces a protein which has a uh, uh, inducing effect, it is called activator. In the lack of peron, which protein is produced? It is a repressor. So, lack of peron, it shows negative regulation.
So, in this context, regulator, I am not going to write the abbreviation R. Instead, I am going to give another abbreviation. For regulator, it is indicated by the alphabet I. Why it is given the alphabet I rather than R? Which regulation it is bringing about? It is inhibiting transcription. Because it is inhibiting transcription, it is given the letter I. So, we can understand from this at a glance, we can understand what regulation is this? Negative regulation because the regulator is indicated with the alphabet I. I stands for inhibitor, which means transcription is inhibited. If it was a positive impact, the regulator gene giving about a positive impact, it would have been given with an alphabet A activator, but here it is inhibiting. So, regulator gene is represented by the alphabet I. Then we have the promoter, we know the role of promoter from the previous videos. We know the role of promoter, it has binding site for the RNA polymerase to bind. And now we learn the role of the operator. If the operator is free, transcription takes place. But if the operator binds the repressor, transcription does not take place. So, once again, the six genes of LAC operon starting from front. This is the regulator gene indicated by the alphabet I because I told you there are two types of regulation, negative or positive. Here the regulation is negative. Negative means it causes inhibition. So, the regulator is represented by the alphabet I. Then there is a promoter gene and then we have the operator gene. Then we have the three structural genes. The three structural genes are Z, Y and A. Now, we are going to see, you understood the paths. Now, I am going to show you switch off. We are going to see a switch off condition. Switch off means no transcription of Z, Y and A. For transcription not to occur of Z, Y and A, For transcription not to occur, what should be added to the operator? The gene that is produced by the regulator gene. What is the name of the gene? The gene is the repressor gene. We have to show it symbolically after transcription translation, this gene. And this gene will bind to the operator. When this gene binds to the operator, our RNA polymerase, which is represented by this, will not bind to the promoter and as a result transcription of Z by and A does not take place. So, what I drew is switch off. Now, I am going to draw the next diagram switch on side by side. Again, which are the three genes at the start? The regulator gene represented by I, promoter gene, operator gene and the three structural genes namely Z, Y and A. Now remember transcription should take place, switch on. So, I am going to show transcription, 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 finally translation and what are the products of translation? The enzymes, which are, what is the enzyme produced by Z? Beta galactosidase. The enzyme produced by Y? Permease. The enzyme produced by A, trans acetylase. So, for this transcription to take place, O should be free. For O should be free, the repressor should not bind. But what happens here is the regulator is doing its role. It undergoes transcription and translation and the repressor is being produced. And this repressor has a tendency to go bind to the operator where it is having this chance to go here. Okay, now how to prevent this repressor from binding to the operator? What we have to do is lactose is added to the medium. So, I am going to add lactose to the medium. Maybe I will give a blue color. Lactose is added to the medium. When lactose is added, lactose combines with this. 
so this blue is indicating lactose and when lactose combined with the repressor there is some conformational change in the structure of the repressor and this repressor is made inactivated repressor is inactivated now will this repressor go bind with the operator no now the repressor is unable to bind with the operator and what happens here our rna polymerase now is free and easily binds with the promoter and brings about the transcription of z y and a after transcription translation to form the three products these three gene products are very essential for lactose metabolism namely beta galactosidase permease and transacetylase are very important for lactose metabolism so you saw switch on and switch off so if switch on is asked remember add lactose in the medium so what happens is the lactose combines with the repressor to for switch off don't add lactose say okay? lactose is absent in the medium lactose absent make it very prominent lactose is absent and your lactose is present then only we can make it on and in this case we can make it off it serves two function it has dual function one it serves as a substrate you know substrate for beta galactosidase see we know beta galactosidase converts lactose into glucose plus galactose so it serves as a substrate second function of lactose it serves as an inducer because of lactose what was induced transcription was induced transcription of z y and a occurred so once again lactose has dual function the dual function are it serves as a substrate as well as it serves as an inducer substrate for the enzyme beta galactosidase the beta galactosidase converts the lactose into galactose and glucose and also this lactose serves as an inducer because of lactose look this figure because of the lactose lactose was indicated in blue color because of lactose the lactose binds with the repressor and therefore this repressor was inactivated and did not bind to the operator therefore what happened what was induced transcription was induced transcription took place so we can also say that lactose serves as an inducer now this is all about prokaryotes